In this video, we present our work on aerial 3D reconstruction with line-constrained dynamic programming. Our algorithm takes a set of close-by aerial images as input, one of which is used as the reference image. The algorithm produces an accurate 3D dense point cloud as the output. We can see that the layered structures of the buildings, especially where a horizontal and a vertical plane intersect, are faithfully reconstructed with accurate details. Homogeneous regions, such as rooftops, are correctly reconstructed to be planar and smooth. The occluded regions are clean and free from clutter, as can be seen under the road surfaces and traffic signs. With the input images, our algorithm first calibrates the camera poses along the UAV flight path. The algorithm then computes a matching score on each pixel in the reference image at each discrete height level. Salient linear features are extracted from the reference image subsequently. The first pass dynamic programming is performed along these extracted salient linear features across image columns, generating bias terms to encourage the pixels on the linear feature to have the same height value. The second pass dynamic programming is performed along aligned image columns, taking into account the bias terms from the first pass and produces a dense 3D point cloud as the output. Unlike traditional stereo, which follows rectified epipolar geometry, we formulate the reconstruction problem as a constrained optimization on the height level above the ground plane of each pixel in the reference image. For each pixel in the reference image, a matching score is calculated on each discrete height level. Our algorithm is inherently multi-view in that it can aggregate matching scores from as many neighboring images as the matching scores can be improved. The cost of using more neighboring images is insignificant on our GPU implementation. In our experiments, we use three images as the input, with one reference image and two neighboring. The process repeats itself for all height levels on all pixels. Then, from the reference image, salient linear features are extracted. The algorithm favors longer running lines because they constrain the reconstruction across more image columns, therefore providing a more powerful structural constraint. The salient linear features in the 2D image, which represent meaningful structures in 3D, enforce our inter-image column constraint on the reconstruction. Instead of following a rectified epipolar direction, our algorithm does not require prior rectification and performs the first pass dynamic programming along extracted salient linear features, generating bias terms that encourage 3D points along the linear feature to have the same height. The bias terms generated in the first pass are then taken into account in the second pass dynamic programming, which is performed along aligned image columns to enforce our intra-image column constraint producing a dense 3D point cloud as the output. On the left, a traditional two-pass dynamic programming operates along and across rectified epipolar directions, which in this case fails to capture the full structural constraint of the building geometry, leading to distorted building facades. On the right, since our algorithm constrains the reconstruction Along the directions of salient linear features, building facades and the linear patterns within them are accurately reconstructed. The few fractures and missing facades in previous videos can be improved by using more aerial images from different viewpoints. Specifically, different sets of input images from different viewpoints of the same 3D scene can be processed separately. The resulting 3D point clouds can then be merged to produce the final output, which will have a much more complete physical composition for the underlying 3D scene. 